Oh no, we never get sick of pasta. Like, is that even a question? Yo, 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 crazy people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Didi and here I am with another video. So I started this new format on this channel last week because I really want to start talking in English too on this channel. Just for the record, I am 100% Italian. I don't have any anything to do with America or like the States. I just have this accent because I really love English. And since I was 14 years old, I started watching everything in English. And so my accent from Italian started to change a little bit into this American kind of accent. So I've never studied abroad in the states or anything i just love english english is my passion and you know i just want to share this passion with the world so welcome to my channel as you can probably tell by the title i'm going to answer to some questions that americans have for italians how am i gonna do that well there's this video on youtube that i remember watching when i was younger because i think it was uploaded on youtube like four or five years ago and I remember watching it and it was so funny so today I'm going to watch that video and respond to the questions that Americans have for Italians because I'm 100% Italian and you know I'm the real deal so I'm going to respond to those questions from last week's video I told you guys that I'm from you know, the north of Italy. I was born in Verona, which is the city of Romeo and Juliet. And so I'm currently living here. Okay, so here's the video. I'm pretty excited actually, because I really love talking about my country in English. So I'm super happy to do this video. Okay, first question. How come all of your men can eat all the pasta that they want, but still be as hot as they are? Well, that's a very good question. Also because I ask my friends that question all the time. Um, I have no idea. I think it's just in our blood. We basically grow up eating pasta, so I think it's just like part of their body. They're, they got used to it. I think it's just a matter of getting used to a food. Yeah, we eat pasta, but we have other food that we can eat and, you know, try to balance our diet. But yeah, it's something that I ask my friends all the time, also because it's only for males, because women in general, well, I, I don't do that. If I eat pasta every day, I'm gonna get fat. So it's just like the real deal. You shouldn't eat a lot of pasta because, you know, it's not that healthy. But we, as Italians, we could eat pasta every freaking day and for breakfast, dinner and lunch. Pasta is everything. Okay, next question. <laughs> Well, speaking of pasta, no, we don't. It's just like pasta is so good in every, you know, shape, color, form, with every single sauce. So no, we never get sick of pasta. Like, is that even a question? Uh, what can I do to marry a man like Claudio Marchisio? I don't know, girl. I mean, I think it's a question that as Italians we ask ourselves too, you know? So there are a lot of hot guys playing soccer. Soccer is, I think, the good sport that can be watched both by, of course, men, but women. Women in general, um, they watch soccer just to see hot guys running with the ball. I do that too all the time. Girl, I get it. How do you manage to stay tan all year round? Like, seriously, what's your secret? Oh, I think there is this assumption that when people and Americans especially think about Italy, they always compare Italian people with southern Italians. Italians that are from like the south are super tan all the time because of course they live like in these beautiful regions, they have the sea, they have the sun, they have beautiful weather. And if you're talking to an Italian from the north, you know, I'm the example, I'm super pale. So it depends where you live. I think it only depends where you live in Italy because you know, in the north we are super pale. I mean, not every single Italian from the north is pale. We, we don't have a beautiful weather all the time, so it's just hard for us. I used to share an apartment in Milan with our roommate and she was from, you know, the south of Italy, from Puglia, and she was pretty tan. Basically, both Italians, but the opposite. She was like brown hair and, you know, super tan. Meanwhile, I was super pale and blonde. Okay, moving on. Why do you speak with your hands? It's really hard to concentrate when you're doing it. Why do we talk with our hands? I have no idea. It's just how we grow up, I think. It's just like we love to 
be very expressive i think we just like talk loud i don't know it's just like the way we are i don't i i have no idea it's just like how we talk using hands when talking it helps you just like be more confident able to entertain more call the attention of other people while you're talking to them i do that a lot why do you guys have so many dialects i have no idea i mean it's it's insane, I know. We are a small country and every region has so many different dialects. Girl, I don't know. I myself, as an Italian, I just like, I'm not able to understand the majority of Italian accents and I have no idea why. We are just like an old country and so for that reason we really respect dialects too. Italian as in every freaking, you know, country is just like so different from one region to another without speaking of dialects in general like my Italian from Verona, my city is just like so different from the Italian from Milan or Florence I think it's just like our, our cultural luggage that we have to carry with us that we have so many it's just like the way Italy is you know, you don't have to ask yourself why you just have to accept it because as italians we don't even know so what's the deal with prego like is it it's thank you prego you're welcome prego here's some tomato sauce prego 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 what, like what does it actually mean i've never actually thought about it but it's very cool and cute to see the perspective from other people we use prego uh, to respond is like thank you it's actually you're welcome but we use prego also to like a courtesy if you're standing at a door and you see people coming and you open the door and you say prego like come on in it's just like a word that you use to be you know polite if i go to italy will i actually see a super mario brother character walking around no so do, so do y'all like all hate all garden or like do you just feel like you have to because you're Okay, so Olive Garden, I think, is just like a place that you guys have. I think when we go abroad, it just like comes out naturally, our criticism against Italian food abroad. We say things like, no, that's this is not how you do it. This is not how my grandma does it. We respect so much our food and culture. We just like turn into mean people when our food is not presented in a way that we would present it in Italy. You know what I mean? I've never actually been to an Olive Garden before, so... I, maybe I will try if I, you know, go to America one day after this whole freaking situation because, you know, but okay. What the fuck is up with your dinner structure? I don't know how any human could put all of that inside themselves. So I have to correct you here, we put more energy into lunch. So yeah, we eat so much everywhere in Italy. Everywhere you go, you eat so much. But especially if you go to the south of Italy, you're gonna eat so much. It's just like insane during like uh, Easter or Christmas or you know, those festivities. We start eating at around like 1 p.m. and we stand up around like 4, 4.30 because we have appetizers and then we have, we have so many courses for different kinds of pasta or a risotto and then we go to meat and then we eat fish and then we have to have dessert and then after dessert maybe a coffee and then after coffee you know some amaro to just like drink it up like limoncello for example i don't know it's just like the beauty of italy come on you really are questioning that right now if you come to italy you're gonna eat girl just like get over it don't question it we love eating we love cooking we love food in general so that's how we are you know why do you like fish so much why does everybody in italy just love fish are you kidding me why do we love fish? Maybe because you've never tried Italian fish before or you've never eaten, you know, fish in Italy. So I think you should do it and then after that you can ask yourself that question and maybe you can respond to yourself. Okay, so I found another video from this British couple. So let's see if they have any questions for me. Yeah, do you all love coffee? Girl, I am so glad she asked me that question. I have to, to be 100% honest yes you know we we drink it right because i've traveled and for example i had coffee in america but you guys have what we call the american coffee but you guys call it coffee because you live in america and so that's your version of coffee but it's just like coffee with water 
it's just like it doesn't even taste like coffee it's just like watery coffee and just like it's not how Italian coffee tastes as a young Italian I drink at least like three coffees a day coffee is what you must have every day to wake up in the morning after lunch and sometimes after dinner because you know it helps you digest we prepare our coffee with this you know machine called mocha and that's the perfect machine that you should use to you know drink coffee and when i'm far from home the thing that i miss the most is drinking my coffee with my mocha in my italian way because italian coffee is so good there is no other country in the world that can make a cappuccino as we do it's just like in, it's just fact um it sounds like it's gonna be offensive but it's not i genuinely want to know is mamma mia a phrase you guys say because it's in all the cartoons yes when people try to imitate like an italian accent they always start with ciao mamma mia so yeah we say mamma mia a lot well at least i do i cannot speak for every italian living in italy but you usually say that to just like complain you say Mamma mia, this traffic, or uh, mamma mia, I cannot take this weather anymore. As an Italian, you have that inside you, and so it comes out whenever you want. So it just like comes out sometimes in different scenarios, but yes, we, we do say that. If you guys have any questions that you guys want to, you know, ask me as a foreigner to an Italian, just like, please do and ask me whatever you guys want in the comments below. Because I'm very glad to share my culture and things from my country, so, you know, feel free to ask me whatever you guys want hope you guys liked it and again i am going to take this month of march as an experiment i really want to try to you know put out on this channel an english video per week so this is my second one so another english video is coming up next week so you know stay tuned for that and thank you guys again for watching this video and you know hanging out with me today and i'm gonna say bye bye to you with a thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time i love you bye